Okay, so we have another problem. A particle is constant to move on the plane curve x y equals to c. Let me show you the problem here. The particle of mass m is constant to move on the plane curve x y equals to c. C is zero than zero gravity under gravity. Y axis vertical. The Lagrangian of the particle is given. First of all, uh, let us try to understand how does this uh, x y equals to c curve look like. So this is the x axis. This is the y axis. If this is so, your x y curve uh, will be looking like this. It will look like this. You must have seen p p v is equal to constant. Right? This should be that way. something like that. Not a bit. I am not drawing it correctly, but this is a parabola type. Okay, you will get this kind of curve. What is given to us? Uh, a particle of mass m it is moving on the plane curve x y equals to c. We have to find out the lagrange. This so, is a simple problem. Uh, let us try to do this. Here we are doing the solution. You are given x y equals to c. This is a plane curve which you have drawn here, and a particle is moving. On this, so you can get uh, derivative on both sides. So this will produce x dot y plus y dot x is equal to zero. And what you can do from here, you can find out the value of y dot. Y dot will be x dot. What is the value of y dot? X dot y to the minus sign on x. So let's keep it. This is equation number one. This is equation number two. Now. To know the Lagrangian, we need to find out kinetic energy and potential energy as well. So, what is the kinetic energy of the particle of mass m? You know the formula: half uh, m x dot square plus y dot. Square. This is the formula. Okay. So we are keeping it half m. Now look at the options. Look at here. the options are given in terms of x. So we cannot keep y. So we are just replacing the y part. Y dot square. This will be x dot square, y square by x square. Okay, y square by x square. Now we can see the value of y square. Y square is equal to c square by x square. So this becomes c dot x dot square, c square by x to the power. So we can just further take x dot square power. So half m x dot square. One plus c square by x to the power four. Right. Now p is found. We can write v. What is v? V is equals to m g h. Remember, m g h is y here. Y equals to c by x. So m g into c by x. So therefore, our Lagrangian becomes half m x dot square plus x dot square c to c square. By x to the power four minus m g c by x. Let's see if any option is matching. I think option B is matching. Yes. Half m x dot over by painting mistake has come like that. Option B is the correct option. Or oh, okay, option B is right. Because if you okay, we have to put this value half m x dot square one plus c square by x to the power four minus m g c by x, which is matching with option B. Option A throws out it over the wrong way anyway, but I think you have understood what is how to do this problem. So uh, before ending this video, let me just tell you guys you can just join me on like a week plus. You can utilize our referral code for this one. And you can have a look at my courses by visiting this URL, anagarim.com/slash/academics. And you can get all the detailed courses like mathematical physics, classical mechanics, electromagnetics, theory, quantum mechanics, and many more. You can join Anagarim Plus today. You can get a lot of benefits. Those are listed here. You can pause and read. And this price hike will be coming soon, and it will be effective by 31st of May. So you can, if you are planning to take the subscription, take it today. Take it. As soon as possible, you can get any of the plans three, six, twelve, or twenty-four months at this reduced rate before the price hike. You can utilize our referral code for getting the maximum benefits by taking the plus option.
So this is all for this video. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press the like. Finally, thanks for